and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be talking about bag management and how to manage your inventory for your character and also your retainers. And as a full-time crafter, this is very useful information, hopefully. It is one of my most requested videos lately as well. So if you have any requests for other videos, please let me know. And as always, hello from Ori. So as you guys know, I'm midway through doing a new player's crafting series on Ori. And my bags are a complete mess, you know, trying to find the materials is shoddy and blah, blah, blah. So let me take you through the steps and how to get control of your bags and how to manage everything. So first things first, when you first start in the game, your bags will look like this. It'll be in a tab form. It'll be very difficult to manage and sometimes you'll just have to try and remember where items are. They can become all jumbled and so on. So... First things first, we need to see more of these items. We need to see them, um, rather than it being tabbed, we want to see them all at once. So how do you do that, um, I hear you ask. So this is the way you do it. You open up your system menu or press escape on your keyboard or access it through PlayStation and so on by pressing the option button on your um, gamepad. You click on character configuration. You go to character. This is available for PC and PlayStation 4. I don't think this is available for PlayStation 3, unfortunately. So under character, sorry, under character configuration, character tab, under control settings, you have this option here, inventory settings. Inventory interface, retainer inventory interface. What you can do from the drop down menu, you can click expanded and we'll do the same for retainers right now. Add press apply, close, and I'll show you exactly what that's now done. So now, when I open up my bags, rather than it being tabbed, it shows all four bags at once, which makes it an awful lot easier to see the overall mess that's going on sort of thing. So you can easily see everything at once. And in the second tab, you just have key items, which would be quest items and things like that and also any crystals and shards that you might have as well right down here now uh, what you can do the next step after you've opened your bags so you can get a better look at them immediately is to sort all this out and you don't need to sort it manually this is a feature they added a couple of patches ago you can right click any item in the bag doesn't matter which one and select this option here sort and what it will, this sort option will do is it will organize the bags in a fixed order from uh, tools first, then gear, then pots and food, then crafting materials, and then any type of quest rewards after that. That's the sort of order it goes for. So if we click sort, we can now see it's organized everything in a nice, neat way. So we can see first we have our tools, then we have um, random armor, then random potions, random crafting materials, and um, materials, and then last but not least, uh, quest items, and things like sands of time all the time, and so on. You know, just little different random items. So that's the first stage. Expand your bags, sort out the inventory. Now, the next step is to see what items can you remove from your bags that you don't need anymore. So a lot of these items I know I'm going to need for crafting. So I know which ones I need to keep, which crafting materials. But a lot of them I do not need to keep. So I know very well that a few of these items I won't need. So uh, first things first, I'm going to check if any of these can be turned in. Because I did make a few of these for my dailies. But there isn't really anything going on right now. So it doesn't seem there's anything I need. So what you can do is come to any retainer. This is assuming these are items you don't need. If you need them, store them in the retainer. But if you don't need them, sell them. Now, this is the method of doing it quickly. So I was just checking my gill. Yay, money. So click on sell items in your inventory on the market. And then, for example, I know, for example, I don't need these buffalo beans. Okay? I, I know I won't need them. So I've put them for sale. Now the quick way to know the best price to sell them at is to click this button here, compare prices. So if I click on prices, I can see that these are worth 5 gil each. It's hardly worth the effort 5 gil to lose a sell slot, so I'm not going to sell those. I'm going to vendor them for the 1 gil. So 
when I know I'm going to vendor something, I drag it right here to the bottom right so that um, I know that I've already decided it's fate and I can move on. So again, Gridani and Chestnut. Let's check how much Gridani and Chestnuts are worth. 10 gil. It's not really... I said I'm, I'm not really bothered about 10 gil, so I'll, I'll vendor that. So let's look at these more interesting items, like this Wrapped Elm Longbow. So if I compare prices for that, 100 gil, yeah, I'll, I'll go for 100 gil, why not? And so on. Now, when you're doing this process, if you find that there's any items which you're trying to sell, which sell for, on the market board, their vendor price, then um, what you can do is, you can just take it directly to a vendor. There's no need to sell on the market board if it's worth vendor price, because it means um, you will actually save time and even save money because when you sell things on the market board they are subject to tax when you sell things to a vendor they're not subject to tax so this is part of the process to start freeing up bag space is to sell things you don't need or vendor them if they're worthless uh, this is but obviously this is only for stuff you don't need not everything you know there, there are some items that we will need to keep uh, to progress our characters but you should know which ones you need and which ones you can get rid of so for example like if you've been following my new players crafting series i have said to people to make one of every single item on the in the crafting log and this is a, a few of these items here are a result of that so because i've got lots of spare materials i'm now selling them apparently some of them are worth a, quite a lot of money on this server so you know so rather than it just taking up bag space uh, if if they do sell then i'll make some good money from this so again silver magnifiers thousand so so far so good so right now i'm just selling spare gear and so on i've already cleared 10 slots up here and these two i know i'm going to vendor okay let's see humus let's see what humus is worth 100 gil yeah i'll sell that Potter's Clay, what is Potter's Clay worth? Potter's Clay is worth 15 gil, it's not worth it, so I'm going to vendor that, so I put it down here. Bee Skin Blood, what is Bee Skin Blood worth? 1 gil, so this is an example. The automatic price it sets is the vendor price. It's worth exactly the same amount on the market board. So there's absolutely no point selling on the market board because the vendor will give you your 1 gil. So... I'm going to, again, sell this to Vendor and get my one gill immediately once I sell it to Vendor. I think the rest of these items I do somewhat need. This one I probably don't. So again, 127. So, right. So, okay, four more items. So these four more pieces of armor. Wow. So prices on this server are actually really good, so I should be happy about that. Especially because these are random items. And this is another reason why I've said in the New Players Crafting series to make one of every item because you'll be surprised how much um, some of these items are actually worth so 6400 for normal quality okay and as well the good thing about this game compared to 11 is that they will stay on sale forever they will not um, be kicked off the market board at any point in the future until they, they're sold so what because what used to happen for example in Final Fantasy 11 is that when you put sell items on the market board they would only be there for a certain amount of time and then they would disappear you know then they would actually be returned to your moogle to be given back to you but in this game it's not like that so again it's worth one gill it sells for one gill on the market board so i'm just going to vendor that so okay so that's the first step to freeing up some bag space go to any vendor i know that these items down here are the ones i need to vendor so sell 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 and immediately then what you do right click and sort again and you can see i've already freed up in the space of a couple of minutes half more than half a bag just in a couple of minutes of selling stuff i know that i won't need now the next step to bag management is your armory chest now i keep my armory chest very clean and very clear as much as i can and if there's any way of organizing this is to do and use gear sets so when you open up your character window if you click this button up here gear set list you are able to assign for each class a different gear set so right now for example you can see i'm wearing the carpenter set 
Now, when gear belongs to a gear set, it will have this little symbol next to it in the bottom right, this little um, sort of folded page symbol. So at a glance, I can see that these two items, for example, are on a gear set, but the rest aren't. I can see that immediately, that which ones are, which ones aren't. So for the ones which aren't, the very first step is to see, can you store them in the armoire? So you can come to the armoire in your in-room or in your FC house, if your FC have one or in your own room if you made one for yourself and so on but m mostly in the in your in room in your hometown or any of the main cities click store an item and then see is there any items that you can store on the armoire any sort of exclusive items that you can store so it seems not it seems that um Ori has already stored everything she can and to see what she stored are uh, items for example like the the item level 50 class gear if you don't need them anymore if they've been upgraded you can store those on the armoire you can store seasonal gear achievements uh, gear exclusive extras as well things like the onion helm and mod cap and stuff like that so the the armoire is very good for that purpose is to store these sort of one time only items and that you might have so that might free up some bag space um, that you will have and again so if we look through our bags as we said before we can see here so this level one gathering chest um, you know maybe I could use on my gathering classes but not likely not likely so oh in fact I actually already have a different one so what I can then do again in the interest of saving bag space is I'll take this item because I don't I know I don't need it and I'll put it there to either sell or vendor. And the sort option does work in your armory chest as well. So I know that some of these gears um, I will I use for the sake of um, uh, like vanity and glamour and dressing up and stuff like that. But for any item that you might not particularly need, you can see immediately straight away, like I said, which items belong to a gear set and which ones don't. So what I recommend as well is, like, for example, this ring, this level 15 accuracy ring, it's not that important, but I would like to keep it for the future. So I just leave it there, you know, so in case I need it in the future. But if bag space is an issue, like, for example, this level 18 wrist, I know that I'm not likely to use it anytime soon. Um, so what you can do, but I want to keep it anyway, but I don't want it to take up space in my armory chest. So what you should do, in my opinion, is you should elect one of your retainers to be your spare gear retainer. So the the place where you store spare gear, where um, simply that it can't be stored on the armoire and you can't convert it to materia, you want to keep it, you can't trade it in for grand company seals and so on. It's just an item that you don't want to get rid of, but you also don't want to be constantly eating up your bag. And you'll get a lot of those items as time goes on. So I'll select this random retainer. You select which one you like. I'll just drag the item in here. And that's it. So I know, for example, that my um, my retainer here, as you know in Mr. Blue Sideburns, will be my retainer for my gear on this character. And that's it. Now, the next step, what you can do, you can go to your grand, sorry, yeah, to your grand company. So in my case, I am a member of the Twin Adder on this character. So I'm going to return to Gridania to go to the Twin Adder headquarters. And the reason we're doing that is because I want to show you how you can trade in items for grand company seals to the grand company simply but also in a safe way so that you don't give in items that you don't actually need so what you can do is you come to the serpent or the personnel officer the equivalent personnel officer in your grand company they always stand in this order so you have quartermaster on the right next to it personnel officer that's what you want right click undertake submission um, um supply mission provisioning supply mission and then you click here expert delivery now what you can do you have these drop down options of items that you can turn in for grand company seals so what you need to do is you need to use the drop down menu and say here hide gear set 
items. I find this option incredibly useful because what that has now done is it's filtered through all of my gear that every single piece of gear that's on a, a gear list, a gear item list, and it has found that basically these two items, which can be traded in for seals, are not actually um, on in any gear set. So I don't have to filter through my gear to do it. And for example, this Bog Tears um, Armor Lay of Healing is a random wrist piece. The first thing to do though, before you trade it in for seals, is check can you convert it to material? Because quite often when you convert to material, um, you'll get more worth from it than um, trading in for seals, but it's up to you which one you prefer. So the way to check if you've unlocked um, the ability to convert gear into material, and I will link in the description the quest to do that if you haven't done it already, you will have on this option here convert if it's available to you. In this case, usually green items, blue items can't be converted to material in this way. They can be desynth, but they can't be converted. It's usually the pink items which can. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to again... I know I don't need it, I've got better risks for my healers. So expert delivery, click on it. Do I want to deliver it for 1100 Grand Company seals? Yes, I do. Done. And this item, I'm going to keep it till it's 100% spirit bonded and then I'm going to just convert it to um, materia because this is a crafted green item. Crafted green items can be converted to materia usually, but random dungeon drops uh, green items can't be turned into materia, but they can be desynced and traded in for Grand Company seals. And that's basically it, guys. Um, and one thing I find that's kind of important is to do this routinely, to do this quite often, to not wait until you're overflowing with items to sort out the, the junk, essentially, to clear out the rubbish, to do it constantly so you're on top of your items and so on. And the question has come up more than once, like, would I recommend picking up the two extra retainers on from the Mog Station? My answer to that would be, yes, it does help, if, especially if you're a crafter, but it's definitely not required. You can live with two retainers, but your life will be so much easier if you have more, th more than two. That's all I'm saying. So it's 100% up to you, but my life as a crafter, especially on Mifri, has been a million times easier with having four retainers. So that's it, guys. I know you guys have been waiting for this video for a while. Finally had time to do it. So that's my bag management video. If you have any suggestions, any further ideas of how to manage the bags, please let me know. I hope you liked it. If you have any more requests for videos in the future, different topics you want me to cover, again, please let me know. Happy to help. Happy to take requests for video content. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Ori.